But if we do not lock down, if we had locked down, as we recommended some time back, remember this is not a blame game anymore. We are beyond any blame game. Last time I said there is no issue of political competition with regard to the fight against coronavirus at all. Because this is one time that this, the country must stand together. Now, if we don't lock down and citizens, children, women, men, die out of coronavirus, we will be managing the economy for who? That's the logic. We will not, in the first place, be responsible citizens, leaders. Leadership is called now than ever before. The lockdown must have happened a long time. Remember that China itself locked down one. The place which is said to be the origin of coronavirus was locked down within China. There was no issue of the consideration of an economic loss or xenophobic considerations. It was to save lives. Everything we do, we do for people. We don't do for anyone else. Even when we manage our forests, when we manage the environment, we manage it to sustain our lives and the lives of those to be born. So I think there is no contestation, there is no if that, what would happen? Life comes first. Life is a gift from God and it must be protected. Leadership, us leaders must provide leadership to protect lives. So those considerations, my brother, will come after we've saved lives. Not even a penny, not even where, must be stolen from anyone. This corruption habit we've seen by those controlling public resources, please lay your hands off any funds, any resources that are located to the fight against COVID-19. We cannot be that cruel to profit from death, to profit from lives of our citizens. That would be irresponsible. So Parliament should exercise oversight on all those resources that are located towards the fight against COVID-19. On a personal level, we propose the following measures. Please, number one, please wash your hands frequently with soap or disinfectants. All the time. Number two, no handshakes. No hands. Fellow citizens, fellow countrymen and women, no handshakes. No hands. That is not difficult to do. To protect lives of the ones we love. Number three, Cover your mouth or nose when you are coughing or when you are sneezing. Please. Number four, self-quarantine. Meaning quarantine yourselves if you feel that you are not in a good shape health-wise. You suspect that you carry the symptoms of COVID-19 immediately self-quarantine, inform medical authorities. So if it's necessary, you may be moved to a designated quarantine center where you'll be treated. That will help save your life. It will help reduce the infections. Remember the formula of the infection rate, 2.5, using that formula that we've given. It's too many infections could happen out of you alone. Care for yourself, care for others. Number five, do not panic. Fellow citizens, do not panic. Calm down. Take extra vigilant measures. You must, if you're the leader of a household, a mother, a father, a cousin and aunt, deliver these messages, basic personal hygiene measures and how you react to your family members. 
If the family is safe, the nation will be safe. Prevention of COVID-19 is our collective responsibility, countrymen and women. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones, your loved ones, strictly adhere to the hygiene rules or regulations that have been provided for by the Ministry of Health, by the WHO, by messages from others like ourselves through this presentation, through this media exposure that we are giving to the nation. Because this disease is lethal and it spares no one, we must accept that it's here with us. It's no longer stories from a distant country. It is an affliction in our homes, next door, in the next town, in the next province. In all this, we should not forget to seek the guidance from God our Almighty. With God, everything is possible. Prayers must continue individually in our families. But it's also true that prayer without action may not help the country to protect the lives that are exposed to COVID-19. Remember, we are our brothers, we are our sisters keeper. Let's look after each other. God bless Zambia. I thank you.